Oh, you dope. Hello, everybody. This is Sword SC2 here yet again with another StarCraft cast. So, today we're going to be looking at a TVP that I played on stream in case you guys didn't uh, catch it. It is going to be on my main or my streaming account, Stream Sword versus the Grandmaster Giant Dwarf. So, Grand Giant Dwarf is around 4.9k when I was playing this game, and going into it, I, I believe I just played Neuro and another 4.9k Protoss. I'm actually, I think this might have been one of the last games of the stream. I'm not entirely sure the order of which the games were played now that I'm thinking about it. But in the meantime, I'm going to be going for the very standard barracks gas. On this map, um, things to really know is that you can jump up into the main base from here, but there's this slow zone. This little nook is very nice for Protoss players to do things like cheeky proxy gateways and proxy void rays. I know that um, I've had some proxy void rays in my main base, uh, and since I'm spawning on uh, this side, a, the add-ons are going to be a little bit easier if he did decide to do something like um, some early aggression like proxy void rays. In the meantime, Giant Dwarf is going to be doing something a little bit uh, not standard and going for the gateway on the low ground as well as the cyber core, kind of like uh, walling himself at the natural expansion. Not entirely sure if he was playing a TVZ or if he just wants to have his units uh, kind of reinforce or get to my base a little bit earlier. He did go for core before Nexus, so he's going to be able to get the Adept a little bit earlier, so he might want to do something a little bit more aggressive here. Uh, another reason I could possibly see him doing this is just trying to wall off against uh, some Hellions as well, which is uh, extremely possible. I'm just going to be scouting around the main base, do confirm that the second pylon is in the main base, see his gas timings as well, and I should be pretty happy to go home here, probably, maybe. Going to keep the SCV in the main base, because why not? The Reaper is eventually going to be going into his main base. Going to be going back and forth a little bit, a little bit of indecisiveness on my end. Going to be poking probes evenly because you don't actually want to kill any, you just want to lightly damage some of them. <laughs> uh, he messed up the shade a little bit and oh, nice grenade by me. Going to be able to pick off a probe by uh, bouncing one of them a little bit closer to the reaper which was great. In the meantime my opponent is just about to finish his natural expansion, going to be going into the twilight council which is fairly standard to TVP, going to be probably going for a blink opening. Um, and in the meantime, it looks like I'm going for my favorite opening against Protoss, which is the three racks. Going to probably start up a Marauder and Stim Pack fairly shortly here. And we do see the Stalker poke my Reaper. Going to be getting a few shots on it, but uh, I do save the Reaper, luckily for me. Not again producing SCVs very consistently, because again, why would I do that? And the nice thing about this map is that there is a ramp to the natural expansion, which means that you don't really necessarily need a bunker in my opinion, because you can keep your marines positioned right here, and if they try and do something with the stalker, then they're going to take a lot of hull damage, or they're going to take a lot of shield damage at the very least to walk up the ramp to get vision to start poking your marines, which is great. I'm going to be sending up my Reaper to see what is up. We do see the Chrono on the Twilight Council, so we do know that it is probably going to be Blink. Probably not going to be anything cheeky like um, some Dark Templars or something like that. Um, do we actually see the Robo Facility? We do not as of yet. In the meantime, Giant Dwarf is going to be using his Shade and just shading his Adept across the map. Possibly going to be seeing... Uh, or just trying to scout what's going on on my side. I'm just continuing to produce marines and marauders for the time being. I believe I got my concussive shells like I normally do instead of getting the more common uh, combat shields. He does see that this attack is getting ready, so immediately starts a shield battery. And um, I actually don't know what I was doing with my units here. They kind of went all over the place. I think I was going to be attacking like to this base and then I was like oh no what if he expanded over here. 
So instead we are going to reconsolidate our units and going to be pushing down this way. Do I see the observer? Maybe? I, I, I selected my units for a couple seconds. Nope, don't see the observer. Okay, so what I like to do with the three racks opening is just confirm if the Protoss has a third base or not. We checked one position, we didn't see anything. Going to be stemming up the ramp, we do see a couple of sentries and just because there are a couple of sentries and a ramp, I really don't want to attack up into it, so I decide not to. And I think that is the right call here. Especially since we are halfway to getting our third base. And we are also tagging up, so things are looking pretty good for my end. In terms of uh, workers, we are only down 5 SCVs, and because of it, I think we should be pretty even in terms of income, just because the mules are pretty good. I don't uh, have two mules though, which I probably should. I might have, uh, or might be saving it for a scan or something like that. But in the meantime, our Protoss opponent is going to be placing a proxy gateway up here. I'm not entirely sure what this is for. Could just be to spot for drops in case I go all the way across the top into the th third base or something like that. But in the meantime, just going to be continuing to produce Marines and Marauders, taking up to the Starport, getting our plus one, getting the combat shields eventually, and kind of just want to wait for medevacs before we do anything else. We do have the third base up, and again, why would I ever want consistent SCV production? So we're not going to be doing that. Please, please start this. Please. One time. Maybe. Maybe just one SCV. Okay, well, to be fair, we don't have the minerals to do it. But now we do. Maybe. Okay. No. We dropped it. We dropped some mules. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Man, that was that was a long time. Um But we do have a fair amount of Marines and Rod oh okay. Well there's a disruptor. And I d I'm yeah, mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> So, I start moving the units after the juiciest of juicy disruptor shots, and I'm going to be just kind of suiciding my units. Okay, so this pickup, I think, actually just saved me the game, because if I didn't pick up there, all my units would have just straight up died and I would have lost. There are a lot of units from his end, and we are going to be trying to do some form of splitting, but uh, this looks really, really rough. This looks rough. I'm going to be focusing down a disruptor and getting a kill on one. And we are going to continue to try and kill off some of the units. Since all of the zealots went down, we are going to be able to push the Protoss player back, which is good for us. And although we lost a fair amount of units, it looks like we are actually doing decently. How many workers were killed? He killed off uh, 12 of our workers, but we did have a decent uh, lead since um, we did get our third base up a little bit earlier than him. The disruptor shot is going to be coming out, but this time we have medevacs to just uh, lift up all of our units to safety, which is great for me. He is going to be taking into Templar Archives in order to get a high Templar, possibly Storm as well. I actually don't know why I stem here. Like, this is the second stem that I've casted recently. Or second game that I've casted recently where I just stem without there being any units on this, like, on, in my vision. And there's, there wasn't even a base to attack. I don't, I even attacked my own Marine. This is good. <laughs> We're definitely not playing great, but uh, we are going to be focusing down a couple of sentries. And he really doesn't have too many units here, which is pretty good. Disruptor shot is going to be coming here out coming out here yet again and again I'm going to be picking up my units. This time the stem pack is pretty good, going to be spreading out what I can and, <laughs> and uh, the splits they're not great, not gonna lie. Do barrel a couple of mines which is okay. And we're just going to be picking up whatever we can and boosting out of there. Man, those were some juicy disruptor shots. In terms of units lost, we actually are down 1,300 minerals compared to our opponent. He has a lot of uh, probes at his third base, and he is now going to be saturating things a bit. Looks like he is going to be sending his probes to the gold base here as well.
taking or getting some minerals where he can. I'm going to be starting my um, sixth, seventh, and eighth barracks, if I'm not mistaken. Just trying to produce as many marines and marauders as possible. When I panic, I always make one reaper because that is who I am. I looks like I was trying to drop into the main base, but he reacted very properly. So not going to be able to do two damage there, if any at all. And in the meantime, just kind of poking around, seeing what uh, damage we can do. Not producing upgrades, because again, why would I do that? That doesn't seem good. I definitely have the minerals for it, but uh, you know, not today. <laughs> we are going to be poking in with one force i do split off a couple of uh, medevacs and drop off to the gold base which is pretty good i do scout over here and i see <laughs> another disruptor shot is going to be doing a lot of damage as well but uh, this drop is doing a fair amount of damage going to be actually killing off the base because he did uh, not cancel it and he doesn't have any units to really defend here going to be doing some more damage killing off an archon the widow mines are going to do a fair amount of damage since he doesn't have any vision the disruptor going to be picking off one of the widow mines and we are going to be picking off a couple of zealots as they were a little bit uh, out of position there going to be picking off all of the units before they um, die which is great going to be picking off the pylon that was giving him some vision as well here Disruptor shot is going to be picking off a couple of where widow mines and this time this time we get the split and another one <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we we did terribly on all of the other ones but we got a decent amount of splits here and it looks like he just doesn't have too many units here looks like he was uh, possibly floating a lot and going to be losing a few more units to another disruptor shot there going to be focusing down a disruptor and the archon aoe is doing a lot of damage to her bio going to be focusing down a stalker he's going to be shield um overcharging uh, what's it called battery overcharging one of his batteries going to be doing a small little two-pronged attack here with a drop at the top and some units towards the bottom he is going to be disruptoring his own uh <laughs> colossus there by accident it looks like and we are going to be kind of pre-splitting because i actually didn't know how many disruptors that he still had and going into the mineral line killing off as many probes as we can and with that many probes going down he is going to be calling gg so i'm actually surprised that I was able to win this game, especially with how aggressive I was when I lost a ton of units right here. I feel like um, because we were able to defend the attack that um, he threw at me a little bit after that, we were um, able to kind of get back into this game. Definitely could have been better with the upgrades. I didn't. I didn't start plus two, plus two this entire game. I got both of the engineering bays and the armory, but uh, plus two, plus two isn't something that I wanted. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed it, regardless, and I will see you guys later.